hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel how are you guys doing and to my returning subscribers thank you guys for sticking to this channel thank you guys for clicking to watch this video and if you're new to this channel is today is your first time of seeing my face my name is Onwemele Neka Henrietta and I'm a lawyer practicing in Anambra State, Nigeria so guys without further ado without wasting much of your time so on today's topic we'll be discussing what are the preliminary matters to consider before instituting a civil action after being briefed by uh, my clients the first thing I have to consider the first thing you have to consider is when was this act or when was this offense committed you know one has to wonder maybe you'll be like ah this this offense was committed 12 years ago 15 years ago the law states or the law provides a particular time for this for such offenses to be started but you know there are uh, offenses like um recovery of land by states in lagos is 20 years and in abuja is 12 years you know you can you can make a research of uh, all these offenses that are that has a limitation uh, period and uh, that are within status of of limitation so simple contracts a simple contract is within six years and damage for negligence is within three years a recovery of land by state authority is within 20 years in lagos and 12 12 uh, 12 years in abuja and it differs according to your jurisdiction so the second thing to consider is um, the cause of action you know before a person can validly institute an action in a court of law there must be a cause of action and such cause of action must be reasonable Another thing to consider is uh, the local standing you know the the latin maxim refers to the capacity of a person to sue you know to have the right to sue or are you a legal entity that like are, are you capable of suing this particular person or are you a necessary party to this particular action you know whether you have the right to institute this action another very important uh issue to consider is the issue of jurisdiction you know one has to consider the issue of jurisdiction and the issue of jurisdiction is fundamental because it can be raised and struck out at any time you have to consider the particular court that has jurisdiction to entertain this particular matter or you have to consider where the cause of action arose where the defendant resides and so on you know this is the this is the appropriate things to do when it comes to jurisdiction jurisdiction is very important because uh, the defendants can raise the issue of the jurisdiction at any time another thing to consider is the option of adr the alternative dispute resolution option you know it is very compulsory for your lawyer to bring the option of adr whether you want to settle out of court or you want to pursue this matter in court so the next thing to consider that is costs of litigation do you have money to pursue this matter in court do you have what it means what it takes to go to court to pursue this matter or you can you know your lawyer can decide to do pro bono for you thank you very much for watching this video and please guys remember to subscribe to my youtube channel remember to like share and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for my next video see you guys bye